Hello and welcome to Connection Arena, my Connection Esports Arena. We're back with some Overwatch 2. My name is Badov Patel. I'm joined by my friend Matt here. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm so ready for Overwatch. It's been a long time. It's been a minute. It man. has. It has. We've, I, it's, I've missed it, honestly. Yeah. Who are, we, who are we up against today? We are up against Carleton University out of, I think it's Ottawa. You uh, are. That's up in Canada. Up in Canada. Oh wow! <laughs> a little, little geography lesson for for the folks at home. Um, since we last played Overwatch, there I believe there's been a couple changes to it. Do you want, do you want to talk about those changes real quick? Well, number one, functionally, there, there's two new characters. Life Weaver came out just at the tail end of last season. Didn't see, I believe, any playtime at all. And we also have Alari. So there are two new supports in the pool, as well. We have a new game mode, Flashpoint, yeah. coming through. Uh, from initial uh, reactions here here at the desk anyway yeah. it's a little divisive but um just from watching watching some of the games in uh, the off season for us looks pretty sick i'm excited to see how these uh, how these teams tackle a new game mode 100 percent. i mean i'm i'm just really excited to see alari alari for me I, I i play a lot of support i mean support alari has just been like a fun character for me i like her healing her healing beam reminds me of zarya's beam I mean, that's like the most fun thing I like to I like about her, just being able to jump, fly around. Her healing pylon, it's, it's. I, I believe there's no timer on it. If that's, if, if I'm right, there's I, no. I timer. believe you're correct. Yeah, that's, it just goes until crazy. it's killed or or you kill it off. Um, that's crazy. I mean, and that ultimate, that ultimate, so know, sick, it's man. Good, it's good. It's good. Oh, especially when paired with a bunch of other ones. Like, imagine Dude. firing it and then like a Sigma ult, a Rissa ult. I mean, just I anything mean, that does damage to it, really. Honestly, like the way I see it. You just get a group in a cluster. You hit that ult, Genji dash, throw them all, and they're, they're yeah, and then they're all they're dead. Toast. No, literally, they're toast. literally. But um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to see how it's gonna go through. Do we, do we know like the map sequence about at all by chance? Well, number one, rule number one, control is always gonna go first, and oh, okay. I believe it is hybrid, and then flashpoint, and then push. I think. I think oh, I thought push, push push was last. I think I thought. We're, there's a <laughs> new, new season, new no, rule, yeah, new right. game mode that gets everything out of whack, and uh, but we will we will make sure that it gets uh, figured out as the season progresses. Of course, uh, I'm just excited to to see some Overwatch again, man. It, <sighs> what are your thoughts about Flashpoint? This well, while we're on this conversation, about what, what, are, what are my thoughts about Flashpoint? Yeah. Honestly, I think it's kind of sick. But like me personally, I'm not I'm not a fan. I'm I'm more I'm of a, a I'm I'm a big watcher. So, so it, I think it's I think it's really cool as like a spectator. Yeah, because because yeah. the ebb and flow is so strong. Yeah, where, yeah. Like, with control, it feels kind of stunted, where like the comebacks can only happen so strong because like well, there's a there's like a thirty second gap in between. Yeah, rounds. yeah, that's true. Whereas with with flashpoint, it's just go go go. I get, yeah, that's that's true. You can't really wait enough time, wait as much time. You kind of just have to. I feel like almost every single comp for Flashpoint is going to be like a dive comp. I want to say like ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah, from from my insider sources over at the at the team, uh, we're going to be probably seeing a lot of mobile compositions there. But we do have the map preview ready, so okay. we'll see what we're getting into here. Let's see what we got. We got Ilios for control. One of my favorite. One of my more favorite maps. I would really? say. Really, I like Ilios a lot. Yeah, because the well and you can boot people off. See, I'm a I'm a Rhyme player, so oh, okay. <laughs> Il Ilios, especially well, makes makes me hurt a little bit. Uh, but it's always a fun fun map to watch. It's so it's so dynamic, and I feel like each uh, section of the map is so different in how it plays. Lighthouse plays completely different from Well, for instance. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to probably see a, a lot of different stuff happen here. I, I'm really excited to see uh, just this new SNHU Sapphire roster, and I'm excited to see how Carlton does. 100%. Is there any other, like, uh, like overpowered, overpowered, like, agents out, like, right right now? Agents. Like, not agents. I mean, heroes. <laughs> characters. Sorry. Um, From what I've heard, it's fairly... Uh, fairly balanced i've been i've been speaking a lot with one trick where like okay um 
so the supports you can kind of play most most characters even even life weaver who was kind of a throw pick for a while yeah um can he, kinda, he got buffed though didn't he yeah he got buffed pretty significantly gives over health with the ult now which is huge um you know as for uh as for tanks i mean even if you're just watching overwatch league today like it's London, so it doesn't matter. But they played, they played Reinhardt and made a good series out of it. So like, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We, I, I guess we do, yeah. But for for Ilios here, I'm looking to see. I, I want to see. I, is Brig Lucio? Is that that? No, they're both secondary, right? You can't have them both at the same time, can you? I mean, honestly, I mean, can I, you I've really seen, though? I've seen like Brig Lucio, like two yeah. boops uh, to boop them <laughs> off, and then imagine we have like Ash, and then maybe like Winston or something. I, I don't like just imagine. I don't know, just like imagine I, it. I, I mean, I'm I'm imagining right now. I, I just just I'm um, just imagining. I I am. Uh, but what I'm not imagining is this game starting because uh, okay. we are just about ready to throw to the game. Are we just we're just we're just about ready. We're just, we're about, just ready. about ready. So not, we're gonna give yet. a little more suspense. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Um, you know, you got you know you gotta play it up when the season's I, starting. Uh, this is the start of a new season. We got we got some new faces in the chairs. Now, <laughs> now we're now good. we're ready to cut the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're being we're being we're being we're, we're, lied to. Son, son, someone who I will not name on cast or is not to blame uh, because he's my boss. Uh, <laughs> left it on the scrim code, so they have to reconfigure the lobby for a quick second. But once. One what comps done. do you think there's gonna be for Ilios? I Let's talk about that. I don't know, man. You don't. You don't know. It, I mean, you could so much. Anything. Has, so much has changed since like last season, and you know, I I follow the game, but not you know, I'm not in the thick of it anymore. I, you know, anymore. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm washed. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I I left the the gaming chairs for these nice ones for and, these nice and the ones. headset. Yeah. No, I guess um, that's fair. So I'm not I'm not so immersed in it. Really, I think the key is, you know, probably we're gonna see a couple boops on on well. I think Lucio is always a good uh, yeah. a good pick no matter where we are. Um so I, I I imagine that they're gonna gonna pick that. But this time for sure. <laughs> Let's we can go into the game <laughs> and we can see Hallelujah, we are on Elios. Yes, sir. We are on well here. Can't wait to see what we got. If we got a Roadhog here and a Lucio. Oh, and a Brig. A Ma okay, I'm sorry. I just I, really I, wanna, I think you're I just, I just, wanna, I just wanna see a lot of boop kills here, okay? And we got a Roadhog. Okay. We got, we, we do have a Roadhog here. We got, uh, we got a couple new faces here for uh for SNHU, I believe Helios and Ultima Web, as well as Crazy Cat, potentially, were all uh, new additions over I the course I of this. I believe so, yes. To this uh, SNHU Sapphire squad. Looks like a pretty strong, pretty strong squad. I've, I've heard that they've been scrimming really well. Um, I'm, excited. I'm excited to see them cook. <laughs> 100%. I'm ready to see what they're going to do here, especially going up against Avara here without having, I think, only Bap as a hit scan. I guess Junker as well, if you really count it um, from a short, short range weapon. I'm really excited to see how they're going to play against this Vara right now. Yeah, I mean, really, I just have to. You just have to be wary of her positioning and be wary of uh, the Roadhog's hook. Right. Otherwise, I think they'll be able to just pump damage into the Roadhog, build up their ults, and just get value by kind of ignoring the uh, the Pharah in the sky. 100%. As they're starting to go in here, we're seeing Kresnik right now actually going to be able to do a lot of damage to most of their team. However, that Far of Mercy is really keeping them alive at the moment. We can see that the Mercy is just barely alive there, just keeping her up at very little. But SNA2 is able to get control of the point extremely quick here and just being able to get that control. A a awesome first fight from Ultima Web there. Got, I believe, two or three picks there to get that fight done with quickly. Now Paradox is swapping over to the Kiriko, which I, I think I understand. You're going to be able to bolster Karomi on the on the Sojourn a little better. Um, you know, the Pharah can kind of be on, on their own with, with Mercy support. And a Roadhog's Roadhog. Right. I mean, you, you can't do anything about it. I mean, Roadhog... 
Roadhog's always going to be good for this map. I mean, I'm really waiting to just see a hook here and then go straight into the well. But as they're starting to go out here, we're going to see them all roll out. That knife from uh, Junker Queen is going to do a lot of damage, but that heal as well from Roadhog is just going to get him right back up to where he was beforehand. And seeing them all kind of grouped up right now, we're going to see Ulta, uh, uh, Ultima also kind of get rid of, that, rid of that Mercy, which is going to be a huge, knowing that the healing's not going to be as proficient as it was before. And there's Roadhog just gone now. Yeah, I mean, Roadhog... Humido humidifier on Roadhog took a lot of very early damage. Paradox goes down late too. That's rough. Yeah. Um, you know, humidifier took a lot of early damage trying to get that hook. Isn't able to secure uh, a pick, and you know uses the heals. But even afterwards, he's at like a quarter health. So, you know, you really don't have that Roadhog pressure for a while. Allows uh, Ultima Web to play a little more aggressively, get the pick onto the Mercy for Carlton University, and then it all crumbles from there. Right. I mean, one thing about like Paradox, I want to say Kirko as well, especially playing against a Junker, her ultimate there is going to really just uh, make everybody purple. But we're actually seeing an ultimate come out right now. Crazy Cat popping out that window is going to get a lot of damage as well as Ultima Whip. That Soldier and Ultimate coming out, getting two picks right away. They're flying. Uh, people in the air are gone. And being able to just go through gets Paradox as well. And Kresnek being able to finish off uh, Kuromi there. And I mean, that's that's the game right there. That that was a sick overclock 100%. from Ultima Web. Uh, an incredible performance for right. the first map of the season. If if this keeps up, we got <laughs> we got we got some spicy on our hands right. in Ultima Web. My goodness, that those those shots came out so strong. Got so much value. Meant that Carlton really wasn't able to do anything with that last push. Yeah, I mean, it always seemed, seemed like they were a little bit stuck there. I mean, they were able to just kind of keep on the pressure that they had. I mean, they had, um, there, there was a soldier and a soldier. So, I mean, you're, it's just constant firing 24-7, you know? It's not much you can really do about that. Ultima Web now swapping to the Echo, whereas Carleton University is playing more of a Zarya comp based on feeding that Zarya charge. And uh, you have the Bastion coming out too, which is a fun little pick. Pumps out a lot of damage. 100%. And we're seeing right now as pumping out the damage, Helio is going to go in for that swing again. That Junkrat swing is always just going to do a lot of damage there. And Ultima Web as an Echo, going to be able to get some DPS off as well. But as that Zarya's health gets super low again, Kresnik just going to be able to finish it off. And it's just it's just almost gone, just like that. I mean, the point's active, but the rest of the team is, is dead. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cool Ranch got picked so early that it meant, like, you know, the Genji is the... the keystone to this composition if your genji can't go in and get charged for your zarya your zarya is just not gonna do anything cool range again gets low in the pre-fight and now chromi goes down yeah chromi going down there not gonna be able to get enough ult, ult charge if you're if we're comparing ult here we're actually gonna see ultima get very very close to her ult right away here she could use it against zarya very fast but those uh, those sticky grenades just gonna get lucio right away there and genji as well as you're mentioning just not gonna be able to dive far enough and just uh, ultimately finish look, off again look at this look at where they got positioned at the end of that fight they they are just now backing up to bridge. For a time, they were staring down spawn. And now SNHU has ultimates. Carlton has nothing in the bank right now. Right, absolutely. I mean, they just it's, they just can't get enough. I mean, oh, they're all no. grouped up together. Now all in a specific area right now. Oh, I wonder a pop no. will happen. Zarya coming out. Old charge is being charged. And it, they're just, it's going out. I wonder if a well will come out. But that Mercy is doing as much as she can to really keep the Echo alive. But it doesn't matter because Helios and Ultima is just going to wipe their whole team. Yeah, you don't need... What is happening no. right now? No, That's the Mercy. <laughs> Ultima wet. Letting go Siren crumple to the ground. But Poor yeah. Siren. <laughs> oh, that, that's ah, oh, that's rough. That doesn't feel great. He'll, he'll be back in time for the next fight. Yeah, though. he'll be back. I mean, he, oh, Siren's got his ultimate. If he needs to, he's just gonna dive through in the in the fight and just re revive or you know just res whoever's gonna be there. Absolutely, but it doesn't look like it's needed. The health for Carlton is so low already. Right, I mean, we're seeing Kresnik as well popping the ultimate here. Gonna get a lot, of, almost a team kill, I want to say. What is that, like three? I three believe, or four I there. I caught four there. Yeah, and, you know, a couple of ultimates were committed, but Helio still has the uh, still has the Rampage if they even touch, which they won't. I don't believe so there. Yes, this is a lover. You see, just not gonna be able to wall jump all the way there, and SNHU will take the win for this map. 
I wow. for a game mode, I should say. Wow, that was um, that was a very quick round. Yeah, Ultima Web getting the first play of the game of the season. That's that's a nice little achievement. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mercy, and then I believe he gets the gets a cure kill late. Right. Oh my goodness. It's just it's done just like that. You, you let ultimate weapon your back line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what there, there, there was no possession uh, control either. Like yeah. they, 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 put, they were able to. Uh, sorry, they were able to get the point, but then they just, they just weren't able to fight it as soon as they got it. It, it felt to me um, that Carlton really didn't know what they wanted to do, especially on well. Yeah. Um, and then I think by uh, by lighthouse, they just kind of lost any momentum um but on well they would just kind of stall out in in really weird spots and just kind of stay there hope for a pick um and a, a pick would come out it just wouldn't be uh, in their favor all right i mean on on lighthouse they were super they were really grouped up i want to say most of the time there i mean they had uh, the lucio speeding them but i feel like just I feel like as the DPS staggered, it was just super hard for the Zarya to really commit, and the healers were just trying to heal everybody as they're all spread out, and it just it just wasn't working well. Yeah, I I'd like to see some adjustments uh, in mainly composition. I feel like I feel like uh, Carlton needs to um, find some weaknesses in SNHG's game plan and change their composition to exploit it, because right now, like that, I don't I don't think that's sustainable for a set. What I mean, they were doing? No, definitely not. And what do we have? What do we have next? Is that is that map revealed yet? Do we know? I believe I believe the game mode is hybrid. If I am not mistaken. Hybrid. Okay. Um. So we could see a lot of different options there. Of course, we have we have old classic uh, King's Row. They have banned Hollywood, so we will not be seeing that. Okay. Um. It, I, I don't know. I, I I have not heard any any leaks from uh, from the squad over there. <laughs> they are uh, preferential to but you know we got we got old classic king's row what are your thoughts about blizzard world Ooh, so honestly insane. honestly i, I feel like blizzard world could work really well for for these strong strong dps players that we have right now um obviously you know kresnik history, right. <laughs> right. history, history with the team and uh as a as a professional but i suppose we shall see right now as we have the map preview ready to go we will we king's do row. have king's row there i i mean you can't you can't go wrong with king's row king's row it's it's i don't know how other people feel about it but i like the map that is widely considered the best map of all time okay uh, <laughs> in the game. that has that i little little fun fun palsy fact for you that has been my alarm sound king's row for, yeah for like three years i think Every time, I, every, yeah. Every time I hear this music, I get pumped up because I, I. That's my alarm. <laughs> I see. If I hear this music, I feel like I just wouldn't be able to get up. I just want to just play Overwatch. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to go like go to class no, no, or do no. nothing. I just want to go and play. Because because here's the trick, right? All right, you tell me the trick. So I, I when I was on the team initially, mm -hmm. I was put in for King's Row. Oh, okay. I was the King's Row Hanamura specialist. So whenever I heard King's Row, I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's my it, time. It's your time to I'm shine. Ready to go. Um, and honestly, King's Row is a hype map. 100%. I'm, I'm sure uh, everybody in that lobby is glad to be pay playing the uh, the best map that the Overwatch team has ever made, in my humble opinion. No, I, I agree with you. I mean, uh, there's a lot of differences between best map and best, you know, and what's not. But King's Row, I mean, there's, I feel like you can just... It's just good. You it's know always what I mean? It's, good, it's, just, it's just good. It's there's always no good. There's no arguments about it. That's the thing. A lot of maps, like, were okay to start. And then they got a little better as people figured them out. Yeah. And as a couple changes were made by the Overwatch team. So, you know, they ironed out some of the, some of the issues. No, King's Row has always just kind of been good and fun because it, it's it's very i mean you're a ryan player too right i mean like it's it's I gonna mean, be fun no bias <laughs> no bias no that's, bias that's, you know the quintessential ryan that but no bias um but it's, it's a very um straightforward map i feel like but it, it gives you a lot of options there are so many little off angles that you can take um and, and just different ways to approach each point but at the same time it can be very linear um it's a very diverse map yeah. and we are ready to get into it yeah i'm excited let's, let's see, I, let's I see what we can do so here much man <laughs> yeah let's see what we got for agents anyways um 
I, or sorry, heroes. I keep saying I keep saying agents. That's a little it's a little, little embarrassing there. You've, it, you've, been, you've been playing too much Valorant. I know, dude. Grinding. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, I, I've actually been playing more Overwatch than Valorant. Believe it or not, here. Well, but we're actually gonna see Alari come out here first time. That's coming out on stream, I believe. Yep, SNH one defense. I think the Alari is a really solid pick, 100%. especially because of that healing pylon. When you're gonna be on defense and you're gonna be staying in a similar spot, that healing pylon just staying up, pumping out healing to the lowest percent uh, hero. I mean, that's that's it's that, really that good. Just kinda busted. It's, a, it's a really good pick because if you just have it in a good spot, the enemy team's gonna be able to hear the the sound come out, and as long as you just keep a good defense, they're never gonna be able to get that pylon wherever wherever it is. They're just not gonna right. be able to get it. And and that is constant healing. Right. Do you know the amount of healing it does for each pump? Because I, I, I do I, I do know it got nerfed. Fifteen. I, 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 I'm not sure uh, about the nerf, but um, it's it's enough. It, it de most definitely is here. We're actually going to see a sim play happen right now. So the Alari, uh, Alari pylon is not going to do anything with the uh, the BAP uh, ability coming out as well here. And they're just going to be coming out onto site. A lot is happening right now that Symmetra is doing a bunch of ta damage to the tank. And Ultima Web is kind of pushed back here. We see Osiren kind of being able to pick some off, but mainly i mean snhu is keeping up with this push right now being able to stay alive i don't know if anybody if did anybody really die during that i don't, I don't nope. believe so not not on the side of snhu anyway um the teleport is a good idea but i don't think it was either in the right place or executed on properly when you when you use that you want to use it to disrupt where snhu is positioned they just didn't do that you get crazy on the bastion you got crazy on the bastion <laughs> you gotta be wary of the bastion when I the Bastion is going to pump out a lot of damage, and especially to someone playing Ryan, that shield's just going to go down right away there. And without Ryan's shield, there's not much you can really do here. And we actually can see Ryan about to die right now, and Ultima Web as well, popping out the ultimate really early here. Going to be able to get a lot of damage done as well, and Cool Ranch no! just going to fall right away. And Tender Beef just not having a chance to survive to that either. I can't believe that. <laughs> Using the Sim Dupe TP, you jump back and shoot, forth. Shoot <laughs> the damage, get healed. And what a play. <laughs> what a, what play. a play. Right. I mean, as it's like to come back out here again, I, I don't I, think there's been any switches so far, no, anyways. But I like this rotation from uh, you, but that's unfortunate. Um, I, I don't know exactly what happened there. Maybe uh, we're setting up for a teleport, but. Oh my oh god, no. this ultimate is going to be huge here. Multiple flying in the air though. The BAP is going to be able to save most of them, but they're all going to be on super low HP. We see the window coming out as well here. And a Siren and a Helios is just going to be able to take most of the team down there. I mean, Crescent gets a pick uh, on the on the tank, but they're pretty much gone. Yeah, Ultima like West that. finally goes down, but... Unless they push right now, it, it might not matter. I think Ultima Web is basically already back with the team. 100%. I mean, and in terms of ultimates right now, wait, the, uh, CU has three ultimates. We are going to see that Bastion ultimate come out from Krez here, may get some, a lot of damage, but it's only going to get um, the immortality. The immortality, yes. Is. But it, it, that's a, such a valuable resource. 100%. And now it's out. Oh, Siren with the Captain's Sun looking for something, catches a hit. And the window's coming out, but they're all just stuck in that tiny little area there. I mean, that I believe that's their Sims all, and they're just they're just stuck. They're just not moving from there. Yeah, cause cause when you have that captive set up, you don't want to take that burst damage. Oh, one hundred percent. And that tender beef goes down. Yeah, Helios as well getting. Uh, sorry, yeah, Helios getting tender beef. Sorry, but. Again, literally just being stuck in this area here. We see Crazy Cat right now doing a lot of damage to their Bastion. Ultima Web being able to get both DPS here. Now only having Tank and a Lucio, I believe. Just being stuck up top here. And Ultima Web with the ultimate coming out as well. Being no. able to stop him. The Sleep Dart finally comes out. Tenor Beef swapping onto Yana. That would have been so sick. The <laughs> pin to spawn. 100%. And we actually are going to see a Widow come out as well here. Immediately being blocked by Helios though. So, <laughs> no, no. Oh, my Ultima Web just just going in there, Tend really just not stopping at all. Tender Beef barely, barely was able to inch away with his life. Um, I, I think these swaps are coming a little too late. 
They you just, they might be. I mean, they have 15 seconds left. They have to make a plan. The B is going to come out. They ha they're they running onto the site. Kresnik on Bastion just putting out enough damage. The Shatter comes out. And just no one's connected. The Sigma Ultimate. And uh, it's 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 so it's almost so so done here as well as the Bastion. Oh, but they are able to get Helios and a Siren here, and they are able to get that fight. I didn't think that I didn't think that would happen. To yeah, be it was it was very scrappy. But CU were able to uh, maintain those those resources. Come out now. We have Tender Beef on the Alari. Might be a be a bit of a bit of a different tune for Point B because I don't think. Oh. Oh, there yeah, is a contestant well. there. I mean, they, it did stall for a little bit for what it's worth there, but not for very long here. Um, we do see Ultima Web switching to Tracer, not uh, no longer on that Echo anymore. And Ryan pushing up onto Helios and that Genji as well. A Bastion's nightmare, really. <laughs> and just spraying through and, I mean, right now Cool Ranch is super close to Ultimate as well. Cool Ranch is really close to U Ultimate, but BD Glow on the Ryan is so low and in no man's land quite literally it's gonna be a herculean effort to get out of there and he doesn't 100 we see this kresnik spraying again with that genji reflection it's just so scary to go up against but is gonna be able to get the support alari there and that just means less healing for them indeed and and now the cleanup begins maybe they'll be able to get karomi on this soldier oh no that's not where you so want to be going buddy weak. But he's able to get them there here, and now they're just going to be holding them from spawn again. Yeah, and, and I think they might just look for the spawn camp. I mean, you got you got Kresnik on the team, so it wouldn't be out of character for them. And the Junker, uh, sorry, the Yolari there. Gun looks like Junker Queens a little bit. Um, I mean... I mean, Cool Ranch is ultimate right now. Like, it's pretty much charged, but Helios is gonna pop his right away. Just get them all in That's one so spot much there. That's it so really much is. damage. The tank being extremely low, but again, being able to heal right back up there, having Lucio and Alari really close to each other is not gonna do, or is gonna do a lot of healing, I mean, but they're just, they're rushing out right now, and it's just, there's so much happening, such a small area. Yeah, and there's so much damage being funneled directly into BD Glow, and uh, Ultima Web oh, duplicates Ultima Web. the Echo, or duplicates the Genji. Yeah, being able to get a, pretty much a team kill there, getting all of them almost close to, the, to their own blade there. I mean, it, it, <laughs> you pop it just to scare him. I mean, of course, but as the as he's back on Echo again, so I mean, the tracer is just there just for the just for the tap, I guess. But it just seems like Echo is just working so well for him. Yeah, I feel like if you're CU, this is the time that you want to either get a fat chatter. Oh, deceptive oh, sun coming out as well there. Oh. Ultimate web getting multiples, and that beam doing double damage if the enemy is lower than half, and it's, it's just another team wipe, just like that. We do have five volts from Carleton University. That may be their saving grace, but but there's only there's seven seconds seven left. Seven seconds left. They can't do anything about it. Lucio's just gonna have to run to payload there if he's able to tap it. He is just barely. The beat comes out. The shatter as well, being able to shatter down the sigma. But the and, and they're just all doping right now. But like they're just being able to stay alive. A siren goes down. Presnik is down as well. The captive son from the other team, Tender Beef, being able to do a lot of damage out right now. And Ultima Web just shooting from afar trying to keep them alive and it's just the two of them and genji out right now as snhu it seems like they're not gonna be able to win at this final matchup there yep luckily for carlton university those close spawns allow them to uh really bolster their numbers a lot quicker than snhu was able to win that fight but they use everything except for the tactical visor for it and ultima web has that uh has that duplicate not to mention Resnick has yeah. the drone strike. Helios just has the gravitic flux, which if they stay clumped, could just pull them off the point for One, good. And they and then the map is, uh, and then the map changes sides. And... I mean they have to do something pretty fast here. They have to stay on point as well as that much that they can really move around. We're gonna see the Sigma Ola and the Bastion Ola come out as well as a combo. They're getting oh. a full team kill. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> I think it was Tender Beef, the one straggler who was not caught in the in the shuffle, still dies uh still dies after the round is over. So it's I don't believe I've seen that seen that all combo before. Yeah, that that hurts, man. <laughs> it's it was definitely that, definitely cool to see. I mean that was uh, that was cool. <laughs> but yeah. that that Gravitic flux, once you get once you land on the ground, you're down to half health. I mean it's you get you get hit with a couple of bastion rockets, it's, it's over. It's over. Did you still headshot with a bastion rocket, or did they remove that from the game? Do you I, know? I don't. 
Believe it or not, I don't play Bastion, but I don't think you can headshot with a Bastion. Rocket. Before you could, I thought. I feel like that I, was I'm, never true, but maybe I, maybe I'm maybe I'm dumb. I, I, I wouldn't say you're dumb. I, I, oh, maybe, I'd say I feel like I feel like you could have. May, I don't know, whatever. Right? <laughs> but uh, for these team comps that we're gonna see out right now, uh, we are. I'm waiting if they're gonna have an Alari, but they're not actually. They're gonna run Lucio and Ana here, and still kind of have the same DPS lineup that they did before. For any changes for um for SNHU, we're seeing a Reinhardt, May, and a ba and a, sorry, not a Bastion, a um a Baptiste as well. So it's that I don't have we has Crazy Cat played Baptiste or um... a Siren even? I, on, I I, I want to say they played on Elios. I think Crazy right? Cat played with Baptiste on uh, on Elios. Is, Madav, is this like two years ago? I'm watching a Ryan v Ryan. Oh, true, I'm true. so happy. I'm right, excited to see how this is gonna play out here, and they're just jumping right into it. Bastion again, being able to get that uh, shield down, and the tank is just deleted and gone. Crazy Cat being able to get uh, uh, Genji right away there, and they're already on point, being able to capture it. Yeah, and, and this Ana is in a bad way. Tender Beef, very much on the back foot, gets saved by the Lucio, but. Then again, Karomi doesn't look long for this one oh, either. The so boob with a great kill. The boob gets him right then and there, and they're already able to escort the payload super fast here, already having five to it's really six minutes of time to really do whatever they want here. And again, that, that Genji reflex, super scary to see, but Helios is able to out... I want to say, like, Rind if the other... I don't want to, like, be toxic, but... Uh, this, uh, these but past two fights are, are what we in the Overwatch 1 business would call an MTD. Um, Helios has been so on point with these pins. Uh, Counterpinning BD Glow on the aggressive one. I was having a little <laughs> he's, bit he's doing his own that. thing. <laughs> um, and then just capitalizing on these walls um, to get the... <laughs> to get this is what we want to see. <laughs> And now, you know, I, I feel like CU doesn't really know what they want to do right now. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. I mean, they're putting on this pressure right now, and uh, a Siren just doing the best as he can, playing music and pushing load. There's uh, not much they can really do if they want to push out. That Baptiste window is going to come out with Pair to Bastion. It's going to be scary here. And uh, no! <laughs> a Siren is going to be able to just drive the payload <laughs> to the point there, being able to get another win for SNHU. That was quick um for a hybrid map too yeah no that was that was real quick helios this time getting the uh getting the play of the game uh oh, let's see which one oh is. they're all so low but there's <laughs> no shield oh, this no. Is nothing. and that's that's that what is that what is like three three kills right there three and then uh if you count the reinhardt getting dinged by a, a, ba a bastion sticky nade uh, i'd call that four I, wow I'd, I'd call that four but I was a Ryan player, so, you know, I, I might be a little generous to uh, the tanks, generally speaking. Hey, tanks Tanks are fun to play every to ev play. Ev every fun now and then, though. Not every you, now and you then. you got to have a specific type of mindset. Yeah, you, to, you to really do. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was a, a very, very strong performance from SNHU Sapphire, but uh, can't exactly say the same about CU. Um, it, it's so tough. It's the start of the season. You know, you don't know what every team is kind of uh, going into the season with, whether they're, you know, had to make some quick roster moves right yeah. before the season started. Right. Um, we are in a very strong position because I know that this team has been scrimming together for, I believe, a couple of months now. A couple of months? So over the summer as well? Yeah, no, they was this team uh, is very much dedicated to improving. Um, and at the rate that we're seeing, <laughs> if this stays up, like, my goodness. Well, let's talk about this next game mode we've got here. We're going to be able to see, we're going to be seeing Flashpoint, I believe, here. I believe you are correct, but I will I will wait for, for confirmation on that to, to truly hedge my I'm bets. I'm like 99% uh, sure it's Flashpoint. Like 99. I, I hope we get to see Flashpoint today. Um, It'll be fun. I feel. I feel like because Flashpoint, as as someone who doesn't like playing Flashpoint, watching it, like you said, is pretty fun because you. It's not just you know attack. It's not like control where you have to like wait for your team and then execute together. It's a lot of like it's a lot of running. I mean, the yeah. map is a lot bigger and there's three different areas that it could all go. Yeah, we are ready for the map preview. Let's let us let us see. Let's see. Are let's we see, ready? Let's see what we got. Maybe. <laughs> 
Here we go. Indeed we do. We, are. we got Suravasa. Indeed. That is one of the two maps in this game mode, I believe. Both, I, of, both of these maps look sick. Oh, I, definitely. As, as someone who is a game art major here <laughs> on campus, you know. You can appreciate someone's work yeah, after, like, no. after, like, seeing the amount of work that they put in. Like, some people think it's easy that it's, like, a, like, drag and drop. But, like, if you really see, like, the amount of texturing, the, like, the pixels that they have to do and everything, there's a lot of thought that goes into these maps. Look, all I'm saying is there's a reason I wear I wear a hat, and uh, my hairline wouldn't be, the, be exactly the way <laughs> it is uh, if I wasn't in the major that I chose. But, yeah, no. Um, uh, what else is new? Overwatch team does good art. The sky is blue. Clouds are pretty. What, what else is there to what add? Else, what else is there? <laughs> no. um, I I would really like to see see you adjust. You know, maybe maybe they're able to take advantage of this new game mode mm -hmm. and, and really pull something out. Because I'd love to see this match be a bit of a banger to start off the season. Uh, but we are ready to jump into the lobby. Let's so. see, let's see let's see what we have for these of these lineups here. Um, actually, I don't think it's going to be revealed for the next. 10 seconds 10, there 10 but seconds i guess about. you can you can kind of tell from the health bars there if a crazy cat is going to be on life weaver here i'm going to be super excited to see how that will play because I, there's been some good comments and bad comments about him I, just I, kidding I, yeah, it's yeah, Baptiste. No, there, <laughs> there, there is no life weaver uh to be had on this uh but there is a Moira right now for now um they, they could always change uh, for instance, Crazy Cat right now is on the road hog. <laughs> yeah. Um, Imagine the healing. <laughs> there, there's, there's what is happening right now? You know, it's a little silly. Uh, but I think we should just have five I tanks. Think we, if uh, I think something may have happened. Uh, they started. They started. The three tanks versus one tank, two DPS, and I, another I two see, supports. I see. Uh, as as the the eyes of the viewer here, I see. Uh, Kresnik Overwatch <laughs> with a mischievous little smile for a moment, just covering his mouth. Uh, so I assume a setting was missed. Probably. Oh, you know what it probably was? What? Um, I, I wonder if the uh, if the game mode code uh, is actually oh, set didn't. up for Flashpoint because it's so new. Oh, right. That's true. Um, so never mind. We are getting word that the other team has requested a quick five-minute break, which, you know, yeah, not too long. But yeah, no, uh, that's not too long. You know, as we're on this break, keep thinking about what the comps will be, and we'll see you in, in five minutes. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Maybe. Oh. <laughs>
welcome back hope you enjoyed your little little break there take some time away from this uh from the screen but uh, i believe we were talking about flashpoint right and with the yes we were suravasa map i Sur- suravasa you got it yeah. you got i got, you got, I, got, got I got it um yeah no i i hope y'all grab a snack because uh this this is this is all new this is all new to us it, re- it really is all new stuff so i'm i'm just i'm just excited to see how it is i don't believe i played flashpoint enough to know exactly how the map layout is for soravasa um do you have do you happen to know i don't know if you've played at all or um, seen anything i'm not i'm not hugely familiar with uh soravasa it's you know, obviously, pretty new. I, I believe it came out fairly recently. Yeah. Um. So I'm just excited to see a whole new, a whole new world. 100. Um, percent But instead of talking about it, we should see it, right? We, we got it, it up right now. It looks like we're about, or we're literally like, I'm really about to go through here. For team comps, we're gonna see, we're gonna see Ball come out, Moira, and I think that's, I think that's the newest changes for S, for SNHO. We have seen Ultima on um on tracer for the one time but looks like they're starting it now instead of uh, for touching point and for cu here they're gonna be rolling with may junker and i think and and, and soldier i don't think they had that last time either yeah yeah i believe you're right oh, oh my wow goodness. what a blink kill there just give me able to start that early early pick off and being able to put the hands of this fight into snhu so far helios gonna be able to get uh sojourn down and i I, I can't talk fast enough to just tell you what what just happened. Uh, I'll tell you what just happened. <laughs> Ultima Web and Helios are uh, uh, d- w- deadly weapons. Um, I can tell you that right now. That tracer uh, wrecking ball combo. Those two are gonna sync up, try to find a squishy out of position, get that pick, and that is exactly what they did. 100%. We're One gonna see him right now again, being able to get Kurumi right off the bat here, and leaving a lot of players super low here. Cool Ranch gonna fall and Sloth also gonna be able to fall here as well. Paradox barely living on, and it's just down to Humidifier with no healers whatsoever. Ultima Web gonna be able to chase him back before he can get to spawn there and that, be able to finish him off. That's so tragic too, because now you have to wait like 10 seconds for your tank from Humidifier and... to even get back. You haven't even started walking back to the point, and now Ultima Web. Is is literally standing next to your spawn. They spawn him out, but he's still there. He hasn't left. We know, we're like, <laughs> real, I mean, we're, we're seeing Helios right now in this little cheeky spot here. I'm waiting for him to really roll out. There we, we, there we see him go. I'm going to be able to just <laughs> squish a bunch of people in the air on Ultima Web, being able to get as much damage as he can to do to him here. But we're going to see the flashpoint just change right away like that, giving the first point to SNHU and Helios being able to die there, but Ultima Web being able to get that Genji and Humidifier just... <laughs> they, never did, they never dealt with Ultima Web. They got they... some crucial picks. Did, did see you. Crazy Cat went down, um, which should signal disaster for SNHU, but Ultima Web and, and uh, Helios just picked in the scraps like vultures. I think it was funny how, how Ultima Web just stared at the Junker Queen as she threw her knife and it was just blinked away as she as she, as she she threw it and killed her. Yeah, I mean, they know that they're in control right now. I, I think it's fairly obvious. Already, SNHU has control of his flashpoint. Oh, and wow. And slow slot is almost down. Oh, Minefield coming out there, laying down some dangerous bombs here, but that B is going to be able to save him out a little bit. Ultima Web going to have to do a little bit of chip damage to this game. Genji here, but as they're able to get control of the point, we're gonna see Helios get the healer as well, and Humidifier left on super low HP. I don't know how long they're gonna be able to survive. Kurumi being able to barely live on there, but a Siren and Krez will fall very quick here. Now leaving it as a little bit more even battle here. Crazy Cat being the only support right now is gonna try and keep up with well, this. Well, Crazy Cat's not in the fight right now. So oh, he's not. Just That's right. Web and Helios, and Helios is on literally uh, like 40 HP. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ultima Web choosing uh, choosing to disengage for a brief moment. Wait for numbers to come back. Karomi does have the overclock as well as the uh, Rampage and the, uh, the Dragon, Dragon Blade. Blade. Well. But SNHU has a couple of solid ults of their own. Yeah, we're gonna see that window come out from uh, Crazy from Crazy Cat here, and we're gonna see Helios just spray right through it, dealing a lot of damage. Dragon Blade coming out here, gonna be able to get two picks on Crazy Cat and Kresnik there. Ultima Web gonna be able to try and get Genji, gonna be able to finish him off before he can do any more damage. And as he's just spraying down here, Paradox is just gonna be able to keep their team alive right now. And I believe it's only Helios and Ultima Web on point. Yeah, um, so you should have the numbers to take this back. 
Unfortunately for them, SNHU took the point back in the middle of that fight. And even though it's still a little scrappy... Like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not looking too well there. Helios going to be able to fall right before they can really try and get another pick there. But uh, Flashpoint for 87% on SNHU. It's going to take a little bit of time before it. that's really, uh, really dangerous for... I want to say it's a little bit more time for SNHU for it to be dangerous for SNHU. The, the thing I mean. is, for CU, they have so many ults right now. Three, three big ones, too. That beat alone is enough to swing a fight. So if they're able to use this aggressively and get a couple picks, they can secure this point right now. 100% here. We're almost going to see a fight break out really, really soon here. Ultimate Web diving in pretty far here. We're going to see the minefield come out, going to be able to get Kuromi. We're going to see Junker Queen with a Rampage coming out as well. Crazy Cat going to put a stop to that beat coming out here. Going to keep Paradox and a lot of the other supports alive right now. But Helios is not going to give any mercy at all. And Kresnik is going to get two players with these sticky nade there. I, I, I finally figured it out, man. SNHU is just playing faster. <laughs> Car Char uh, Carlton could have popped um, that overclock or that beat or that rampage to engage and they didn't and then people died and then they started popping ults. Now Karomi's falling again, still with that ult, hasn't been able to find any value with it. And now CU is just running away. Yeah, being stuck in this little group here. Gonna be able to actually get that gear go just barely. We're gonna see that sticky come out as well. Unfortunately, not connect to anybody. But as they're getting really close there, we're seeing that most of the team right now is incredibly weak. Or Siren and Ultima Web getting rid of Lucio and Genji there. And it's only their tank. And they're just running for their life right now. Yeah, I mean, they've been on the back foot. It, what feels like, you know... Except for the couple times that they captured, it feels like they've been on the back foot. Uh, has CU for the entire map? They're they're just not. They're playing reactively instead of proactively, and and that's not a winning strategy, honestly. One hundred percent. And in terms of ultimates right now, we're, we still see oh. Karomi holding on to that uh, overclock there, and uh, Simon also having his coalescence. Going to do a lot of healing and a lot of damage at the same time here, but just poking at CU right now, just kind of just making sure that they're not getting any space, and I mean, they're fighting them, but they're just not getting anywhere close here. Coalescence coming out, going to be able to get that Genji there, the showstopper, or sorry, o overclock, going to be able to come out as well and get Ultima Web before anything else can happen, and oh, Siren there, he can't get away that fast yet and that's i mean one support on each uh, on each team down right here yeah karomi finally pops that ultimate and it gets some really strong value now carlton university finally getting a presence on the point it's just helios around for snhu might be able to stall long enough for I mean, he doesn't mind here there, but, but he doesn't mind it's definitely not the right time to use it right away but ultimate web is also going to keep stalling this point as well that sticky's going to come out the kiriko suzu is going to save him here and he's just stuck and he's yeah. Probably just better to kill himself then than feed into their ultimates there. Absolutely right. That looks like a misplay. It's it's not a misplay. I promise. It's not. Uh, <laughs> SNHU with a good couple of ults. Carlton also has some really, really solid ones. I'm looking to slow sloth to build this uh this beat and use it Ooh. in a strong way here oh my goodness that's a lot of damage right the mines and the bastion ultimate coming out here gonna do a lot of damage at the same time helios needs to take some time and get back up there we're gonna see ultima web come out with somber as well a little bit of a change but that that window absolutely scary to be in front of kresnik gonna be able to get another pick here we're gonna see him come out the beat coming out as well and helios just being able to just like just harass their supports there and just do a bunch of chip damage we see the boot coming out killing a siren as well and ultima web gonna be able to finish off that last support before before they can really heal anybody else there and snhu is gonna take this point but their genji is gonna stall for as long as possible and i mean that may not be too long there that overtime clock is ticking and and there's nothing they can do about it snhu with a swift and decisive three to zero victory over Carleton University in their debut this season. Oh, Siren! Yes, sir. The play of the game. Look, let's, see this, let's see this coalescence play. Or I, I I would assume it's coalescence, unless it's just harassing the, the, uh, uh, the Genji. Uh, uh, <laughs> the uh, uh. <laughs> Will he get skill oh, over it's there? Oh, so sick! <laughs> Best play I've seen all year. I mean... It's the only play. Uh, that, that's not true. You've seen three now. I, um, it's still the best one. Okay, okay, okay. I just <laughs> wanted to make sure that we were on the same page there. Yeah, um, that is a strong start to SNHU season. season and an unfortunate start to uh, Carlton's
but hopefully they'll be able to rebound. There's I mean, yeah, they still of... have the whole like like what like four months still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a long ways time. to go. Um, plenty of time to rebound. Plenty of footage to look at after that too. You're gonna you're gonna want to look at that because as an you kind of put on a clinic. 100. Uh, that that's that's some footage to study. Um, I'm just so impressed by, by this SNHU squad. Yeah, both teams play really well there. Definitely a lot of improvements that can be made on both sides there. But um, as we start to end off the stream here, um, do we do we do, do you know if we have a Rocket League tomorrow? Do you I, know if that's a thing? I am not entirely sure. Um, for now, I would say please check our social media channels 100%. Uh, to stay updated to the day okay. with whatever we are putting on. Speaking of things that we are putting on, we do have Granite State Grind, the first of the year, starting up next month. I believe it's October 22nd. Uh, That's my birthday. Is that your birthday? That is my birthday. October 22nd, Granite State Grind. No That's way. awesome. Go to, go to Granite State Grind. Yeah. Support, it's, it's support my birthday. <laughs> as, as, as your birthday. And as your birthday present. Tumadov, go to Granite State Grind. Do it. It's, it's a great time. <laughs> um, now, now you're being guilt tripped into going. <laughs> right. I, I tried every other tactic in the book. Now we try guilt tripping. See how it works. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk with, I'll talk with the people running the events. See what, see what the metrics look like after this stream. Uh, but no, seriously, it's a great time. Go on out, play some Smash. Just watch. Even if you don't want to play, you can just go out and watch some great competition there, especially in the larger events. We have a lot of very talented people in 100%. the New England Smash scene that I don't feel like get the get the spotlight that they always deserve. Um, but aside from that, check our social media channels for all of our other events. Yeah, follow on. us. Follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already, and you'll never miss another SNHU esports stream. And I do believe we have Rocket League tomorrow, so stay tuned for that.